Um, I've been really fortunate in my career that to lead not-for-profit organizations for 20, 30, okay, we'll stop counting how many years. And what it's been allowed me to do is work with some incredible staff and volunteers. And I've also been um, very fortunate in my career to do a lot of work internationally and in Africa. And I spent uh, over a period of 10 years going back and forth several times on a number of projects with the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, and I'm very blessed to be able to do that. Really what I did was I started um, in an, as an association for municipal managers and clerks and treasurers of Ontario, and I was the deputy executive director there. And that's actually where I started my international volunteering as well. I received my designation as a certified association executive, and then I moved on to the Registered Practical Nurses Association of Ontario. And it was an association of um, about 5,000 members and represented RPNs across the province. But when I walked in, it was, well, we're just RPNs. No, you're not just RPNs. And so one of the strengths that I've found is I can walk into an organization and I, I see the strengths, I see the weaknesses, you shore up the different areas, and so I can take an organization from here to here. And then I let someone else take it even further. But I'm able to do the marketing and the communication and the government relations and the advocacy and get that push and make sure that that organization is recognized for what it can do and what it should be doing. And so from there, there, it was a couple of other organizations in between, and now I'm fi finally at Family Counseling and Support Services for Guelph Wellington. I've always wanted to get to work in social services. I've, I've spent most of my career, it was either in municipalities or in health in healthcare. The staff that I have are incredible. They listen to the most gut-wrenching stories that if I were to listen to them, I mean the tears, the makeup, it just I couldn't do it. Yeah. They are able to listen, they can help, they assist, They people walk out with a plan, they feel better, they have hope. And when you have hope, then you can carry on. And that's the great thing about what we do. Whether we deal with the, the person doing the abuse, or whether we're dealing with the person who's been abused, whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, whether it's a senior, I mean that's the joy of working for an organization of what of the kind of capacity that I do today. I'm always trying to do better. I'm always trying to strive for the organization. I'm always trying to have the organization do better for itself, run more effectively, more efficiently, help more clients, help clients in a different way, come up with different programming. My staff will say, will you stop sending emails at three in the morning? And it's not that it's waking them up, but it's when I'm thinking of things and you're sending things off because your mind just doesn't stop. And I'm always looking way down here. And um, I know that I have excellent staff for all the detail, all the drill down work to help us get us there. But, I mean, and you, you waver from side to side, you, you know, you get there the best way possible, you make it work for the organization and the community, but I'm always looking way down the road to see where can we be and, and how much better can we be. Young women growing up in Guelph, you have one of the best communities that you could grow up in. I've traveled almost all the way around the world. I have been in many countries. I have volunteered in many areas. I've lived in various places around Ontario. What Guelph offers is a thriving university. It's, we are known, not only in Ontario, but to the federal government, what a collaborative, community we are for being able to work together and pull together and to partner. It's not my sandbox and your sandbox. That's not the way this community works. We work together to make something the best. And so for women in this community, you have so many opportunities to grow, to live, to continue your education, and what a great place to raise your children.